How's it going guys? My name is Graham and welcome back to Heartbound. Last time we were playing this, it was literally just a demo of the game. You really do need to go and watch that video first, so be sure you check that out in its entirety before watching this one, because I'm about to jump really heavily into some heavy spoiler territory here, so, so please be completely fully wary of that. I'm kind of talking over this cutscene because we would have already seen it once before, but the game now came out in early access where you can play through chapter two just in case anyone's confused about any of this even though that other video is labeled demo it was the entirety of the first chapter of the game plus little teasers of what's to come after the full game is going to consist of five chapters the demo was the first chapter and you can see little snippets of two three and four we've never actually seen anything of five one and five always come at the start and the end, but two, three, and four, you're gonna be able to shuffle up and play in whatever order you want, dramatically affecting the outcome of the game. But for the time being here, we just have chapter two being added with the early access launch, with three and four being added later down the line. So for this video, I'm just carrying on past the demo into the now available chapter two. There's no special ordering to be done there yet. Now, I obviously recorded a video, a very lengthy video, on secrets and references and things buried within this game, so I had to create about six different save files to do that. I deleted all those, and I started the game over again, making sure I made the exact same choices I did in that demo video, so do not worry about any of that. It should play out the same as if continuing with those choices. Now this, the separating, oh, there we go, the separating of the spirit was a little bit more dramatic, and also the sound design was extra gorgeous there. Interesting, the different portals that become available look dramatically different too. So for now, we can only do the Tower Corp, which I love the arms reaching out of it. That looks very, very cool. The middle would be Animus. That'll be the next one that's available. And then Jotunheim, which is the last one there, which interestingly you can see here is a bunch of molten magma and stuff. Uh, that one can flip between Niflheim and Muspelheim, and uh, Niflheim, I believe, is the one that's all ice and fog and things like that. So I wonder if literally in this portal, you would already be able to see which of the two tracks you had set yourself on. So this way, I, I know that I've set myself up for the Muspelheim one, where it's all fire and brimstone and all that. Again, in the demo, you get to see the early looks at each of these, but now we get to go straight to Tower Corp, our only only choice for the time being so I'm very excited to finally dig in and see how this all comes together so you did it you actually finished him yeah see now that I did that whole secrets video I know that you can actually spare quote spare Baron it still he still splits into the different parts of his soul or whatever that ends up being but at least you do it in a way that is less damaging I think I act like that final finishing move that I did there I think does nudge me towards the dark sider run rather than the glow bringer hope it felt good enjoy your reward just leave me alone or what or nothing I guess damn <laughs> I feel like we really screwed that one up that's it just let go Hey, hey, but here, here things glow nice and yellow, which is a sign of the Glowbringer stuff. I, the defeating of the bar guest had, had the purple glow, and then Baron glowed purple, and I thought that was all signs of Darksider. So maybe, even though that was a Darksider moment, maybe my path overall is Glowbringer still? What is this? What are you doing? Hey, I think this is how... This segment of the demo ended. The Tower Corp segment ended with us doing this. No, stop, you can't do this. We kind of absorb and integrate the artifact into ourselves. Which, if you played like Animus or something first, I guess the artifact would still follow you around? Or maybe you would absorb it before that? I don't know. I don't know how that would play out differently. It'll be so cool to see how reordering your playthrough changes the outcome of the games here. So I'm probably not going to investigate this room as thoroughly as I had in the demo, because for some of you guys, it'll be your second time seeing all this. Where am I? Baron, are you here? I'm just going to go grab this sock up on the wall. 
I'm gonna interact with all the different things that allow you to solve the main puzzle. If anyone needs a reminder, you have to move this out of the way, the doodles of the lizard people, then there's a keypad on the desk. I've been sitting in this room waiting to look something up. And there's like a weird low point in the soundtrack there that sounds like a phone ringing. That was very interesting. Uh, I just thought I would point that out quickly, even though I, I don't know what to do about it. Uh, here's what I was looking for. If you want to know where this comes from, I explained it very thoroughly in that Easter egg video. But five, eight, three, two, two, one, four, nine, six. You can hear that, that deep laughter very subtly in the background there. That's just a special code that makes it so it auto-translates uh, Darksider and Glowbringer glyphs as they, they come up in the game there. So that's just kind of a, a neat little thing so that as we're playing through the game, we get to see what some of these characters are saying where we normally wouldn't understand. So even though I didn't discover how to do that myself, I am going to apply it here just for the sake of giving us that extra little bit of lore as we play. As if our little green sweater friend isn't enough lore for us already. And again, the code to get out of this room is something I already covered in that demo and in the Easter egg video. Sorry if this video feels like it's cutting around kind of jarringly. I'm just getting past the stuff that people have probably already seen. And once I leave this door, I'll let it play out very normally. It is 8913. If you want to know exactly how, again, you can watch those other videos there. So we can finally leave the break room and in the demo yeah okay our dad is still waiting for us same as before I just want to see because this is where things are definitely gonna diverge from the demo lore dad you can't be here dad Baron's hurt I I can't let them do this to you I can't let her find you and we're starting to see a little bit of emotion from our dad he's not just the jerk that we saw back at the house he's got a little bit of a tear and i'm guessing her is our mom in this particular context i don't know for sure what are you doing stop i need you need to leave now wait i said go cool telekinetic powers there pops oh baron oh he's gone again just when we finally got to see him oh crap we're back in this dark world again no, this can't be real. I can't be back here. That's exactly what I'm thinking. I thought we were finally free of all this. Oh, we got Baron off to the side there and there. Oh, weird. <laughs> well, is there a straight up? I mean, it makes it feel like, okay. Okay, there, there are many options. I was going to say it makes it feel like the options are left and right. But, like, maybe you can branch out many different ways. Yep. Yep, of course. Of course, they're all going to be ghost dogs that we can't actually interact with. But I'm going to try and I'm gonna try and get them all, just in case we can catch and love one of them. I just want to love you. I'm going to backtrack and give out more love to this one down here. Love? I just want to get close to you. And these paths zigzag like crazy. Ah, I can't even get across that other one. Damn it. It's quite a lot of running around to cover all of these separate little hidden barons here. Like, you don't just naturally hit them all by solving this little maze here. You really have to go out of your way to try and connect with them. It's not linear at all. Hey, hey, hey but I guess neither is the game. There's some slight linearity, but, like, you definitely have to experiment with branching paths if you want to get the full story. A little bit of a analogous level design going on here. Holy crap, I would be so lost if I didn't have these dogs to follow, actually. This is a, a much larger map than I was anticipating. All these weird pulsating tendrils everywhere, and, like, the floor looks kind of like cell structure. Oh, come on, man. I didn't even see where else I could go beyond that. There we go. Here's a nice through line. The artifact again? We absorbed you. What's this all about? You. Every time anything goes wrong, it's always you. Just leave us alone. Hmm. Weird. I thought this entire chapter was going to be so heavily stitched into the tower corp there. It's weird to get thrown out of it so immediately. Is this your path? 
Oh, that feels like such a loaded question. No. Take your time. Think things over. Okay, how much, how much control do I have over things here? Here's something interesting that I pointed out in my Easter egg video is that in that earlier part where we had to solve these these puzzles here, Glowbringer was always on the left, Darksider was always on the right. You can see that's true again down here. So I'm kind of I'm kind of curious how this builds off of the glyphs we were reading before. Save them from themselves. Bend it to your will. Seal the darkness. Oh, I see. So is, that's the path that I would take here. I would choose to bend the artifact to my will. But here's the interesting thing. Is that because Glowbringer was always on the left before and Darksider was always on the right. My kind of running theory here is that this stuff on the right is like a trick. Is that it, it is actually the Darksider on the right still. That that is actually the more sinister path. It was very nice sounding music. Let's see if the music changes here. Yeah, more haunting for sure. But what, what what's the phrasing here? Seal the light. Bend it to your will. Save them from themselves. Oh, so it, I, I am I supposed to read it from the outside and then seal the darkness, bend it to your will, save them from themselves. What if I actually flick both of them? Is that Oh man, I could do both? I'm I'm leaning into my theory here that this is secretly the Glowbringer route. That that's kind of hidden in there. And so I'm choosing this as my path. Interesting. I guess there's four options. Because you could light up neither, right? So I guess my choice is just the Dark Sider one, leaning into my, my theory there. The choice is made. Oh, man, that's going to have major repercussions, isn't it? In the light of what you've done. I've been more merc more than merciful. What a good friend. I, in the light of what I've done, I, I'm guessing meaning like what I kind of did to, to Baron. Supposedly what I did. I don't know if I want to take full blame there. Wait, where am I? Just back in the Tower Corp again, but in like a weird side we haven't seen. Ah, oh, sweet, we get to meet some of the new characters of this area. Boo! Oh, nice. Hazen the intern is going to be easier than I thought. What are you talking about? I'm not an intern. You're a new employee of Tower Corp. Welcome to the club, bucko. I don't work here. Leave me alone. Look, kid, I know you don't belong here. Obviously. Keep it down. Just play the part for now, got it? All right, I guess I can do that. That's my intern. Now. Meet me in the boardroom at once. Third row on the right. Can't miss it. Ah, got it. Also, don't bump into anything. The birds are still out on the floor and they don't take kindly to new faces. Catch you soon. Oh. Wait, phased out is pretty cool. Now, are there literal birds or is that a weird lingo thing? Never thought I'd be a paper pusher. Growing up fast is weird. Now, it said don't touch anything, so my immediate inclination is to go interact with the walls, but I guess that is nothing. Hmm. Weird one-eyed bow tie wearing frog leg things that man the computer with their wangs. I don't know entirely what's going on, but it's strange as hell. Oh, Jesus. Okay. I see what they mean by birds. Uh, I kind of want to interact with things, even though it said not to. What if I just go, like, visit a dude? Make sure to keep up on your side projects. Passion keeps us going. Ah, side projects. Feels very, like, Google-esque. It's empty. But what's this? Oh, look, it's nothing. <laughs> Yay, so glad I risked my life to go investigate nothing. There's a page with hardbound spoilers scrawled at the top. Fortunately, someone spilled coffee on it. Well, that's amazing. We all work down here. It's not so bad, though. Oh, yeah, I am totally... It seems like not that risky to to mosey around here and interact with things, so I'm totally going to investigate more. Making stuff is hard. Anyone telling you otherwise is selling you something. The hamster sleeps soundlessly in here. His name tag reads Houdini. Ah, Houdini the hamster. That's adorable. There's been a reference to Goblin the rabbit, which is the 
artist of this game's rabbit, so I'm wondering if, if Houdini is also their hamster. Working in an office can be stressful. Make sure to take breaks when you can. It's filled with gold doubloons. Wait, they're just chocolate coins. I'm fine with either. Both of those sound great to me. They never could come up with anything wholesome to say. Is that kind of like, uh, if you can't think of anything nice to say, then don't say anything at all, so he just doesn't have anything more to add? It's full of Tower Corp propaganda. Join the cause? Oh. Yes. Sweet. Time to forward the corporate agenda. It's, it's, it's empty? So I did it? I'm, I've joined the cause? Man, I hope that becomes important later, because that seems cool as hell. Don't hate it till you ate it. I don't really want to ate it. Is there something in here to ate? <laughs> there are a bunch of gummy words, words in here. You try to write something with them, but your hands get all sticky. I, I would like to eat them, just to see if that has any significance. We don't deserve dogs. We do deserve cats, though. You just mean like that it kind of in the statement of like dogs are too good and wholesome and we're too shitty to really deserve them. An old handheld gaming console is in here. It's out of batteries. Oh man, we better find us some batteries then. That guy's just got a Hawaiian shirt. Uh, he, maybe he got his casual day wrong. Maybe he thinks it's actually Friday. Either that or he's just a real chill wang ghost. Blinking light in a field of darkness. There are like 50 pens in here. And apparently zero employees to actually wield them. Keep asking questions. One day, you'll be the one with all the answers. Hmm. That's a very nice sentiment. There's a newspaper in here, but you can't understand the language. Not even with my little secret cheat to scrawl the, the glyphs for me? A picture of the moon covers the front page. Hmm. Well, that certainly would make it hard to read. What about you, party desk jockey? Always help those around you to have a better day, even if you look a little silly doing it. Oh. Well, that's very nice of you, too, then. I, I think very highly of this one particular employee. Employee of the month in my book. There's a face in here. It's yours. A mirror sits in the bottom of the drawer. Hmm. I don't know if that's a prank or if you're, like, making some sort of meta commentary or something. Interesting choice there. I'm going to wait for this guy to dart past and definitely sneak past him because this looks interesting as all hell to sneak off in this direction. Yeah, this was worth it for sure. Oh, we gotta go read all these, all those post-it notes. Are you kidding me? Those post-it notes, <laughs> that's gonna be the best. All the best secrets will be hidden there for sure. It's full of something nasty. Hmm, maybe investigate a little further. Stick your hand in it, spittoon style, west of loathing. Drink the water. This seems fine. It tastes like it looks. Wait, this was a mistake. Are you going to have to go throw up in the bin now? Oh, God. We actually knocked ourselves out with it? Where are we going to come to? What did I just do? How badly did I just screw things up? Shit, are you kidding me? I definitely hit a wall walking in these directions because the, uh, the walking animation stops. I guess all I can do is plow on forwards. Good thing. Good thing this game has stop animations programmed in. Oh, damn. What in the f... Oh, <laughs> this thing is cool. He's like an eagle, phoenix, griffin type creature made out of ink? I see you've survived the fall. <sighs> this form disturbs you? Guardians change depending on the world they enter. I have no control over it. Is this Binder? Then the big eyebrows are kind of like analogous and he kind of has the cape either way, eagle. Binder kind of had eagle-like features. For a second I thought this was a new guardian, but it's probably just Binder, which is like even cooler. Wait, Binder? Correct. With that settled, have you found the artifact? Tell him the truth? I... <sighs> Honestly, the, the first chapter of the game presents you like a couple choices. And it's like, do you feed lo or do you feed barren dog food or garbage? And, <laughs> and there's not a lot of choices outside of that. Like it's it's very limited. I'm being presented with choices every like three minutes here, and it's kind of wigging me out that I don't know how 
impactful the different choices actually are going to be. I have the artifact. I see. So, how do we get Baron back? Make your way through the tower. Find a fragment of his essence. What do you mean a fragment? What does it look like? A point of light that shifts gently while observed. Alright, I understand. Good. I will see you shortly. Oh man, the way he teleports is cool as hell. Oh wait, can I go back in that room though? Because I didn't get to investigate like the shelf or anything. Nice. I wonder what happens if I knock myself out again. Toilet paper? This place doesn't even have a bathroom. You're right. That is peculiar, but it makes me question even further what is truly in here. Oh, <laughs> he's a little wigged out too. I think that's the implication. I think the implication is that people are pooping in these buckets. It won't turn on. Ah, you can't do it a second time. I thought it would be funny to go back and Binder would be like, ah, <laughs> maybe you shouldn't have come back here. All right, I want to try and get us to those post-it notes. I'm just going to play around with walking around for a second here. Like maybe there is something you can walk across here and it's just not showing it. Hmm, not the case. All right, we'll squeeze on past to some of these new goobers again. Try not to eat so much fast food. It may be quicker, but it'll make you thicker. <laughs> There's a mug in the drawer with messy writing on the side. World's best, desked bad. Hmm. These guys are bads. I, I'm filling that in. It's canonical now. Don't forget to talk to people on the outside. Make time for them. On the outside. There's a small ant farm in here. They look rather industrious. Ah, that's just usual ant stuff. Oh, a new sock. You found a hard-working sock. Business. <laughs> Gotta get all the socks. Sealed, closed, with tons of sticky notes. That's probably too many notes. You should probably let up a little bit. This computer's ridiculous. You can't even see the screen. But you can see it a little bit there. Pretty, pretty flashy keyboard. It's almost like the sticky notes are doing the work. You cannot interact with that cooler, and I can't visit that guy at his desk behind it. My hat is super cool. Best anime hero in Tower Corp. Oh my god, is that because... Is Tower Corp a thing in Pokemon? Well, I guess the Pokemon Tower was a thing, and that was where you found, found all the ghost Pokemon and stuff. So these guys are like ghosts, if that's kind of the direction that reference is, is pulling. That's kind of what it makes me think. Full of individual hot sauce packets. Some of these are ancient. Yeah, maybe you should stop ordering sides of hot sauce if you if you feel like you're not up to it. Maybe he's just trying to build up the courage. A bunch of papers with poorly drawn ducks on them. <sighs> That's possibly, possibly a reference to community. The, the, the guy from Breaking Bad, Mike from Breaking Bad, was in a season of community and he was like an aspiring cartoonist and he would always draw ducks. Maybe I'm reaching. It's just a bunch of garbage data. Well, maybe maybe in the hands of a master statistician, it wouldn't be garbage. Disagreements happen sometimes. You don't always have to win. That's loser talk. <laughs> Looks like some kind of schematic for a pen-flinging catapult. Office feuds are leveling up. Well, that jerk in 7B thinks he's so hot with his clean desk. You gotta take him down a peg. It's easy to feel like you don't measure up. Just remember, everyone else feels the same. Danny, don't you know? There's a label maker in here. Thank? Is it just... Is that just a joke about label maker makers, like, crapping out? Don't regret your actions. They were your allies at the time. Thanks, I kind of needed that sort of nudge, considering how much I've been regretting my actions this entire time in the tower here. It's filled with assorted colored candies. The colors consists consist of red and off red, which some might call black, but apparently they don't want to be that uh, that limiting. Ooh, this guy's extra thorough in his investigations. It's a good thing I didn't try and run out past him there. Post no bills, post no paychecks either. I will I will do neither. I better double check there's not like a second interaction with that one. Hmm, seems like a prime opportunity for there maybe to be a follow-up interaction. Instructions on how to contact HR. They're all scribbled out. Great. Oh, this dude again. Can you stop doing that? Nah. Oh, he, he totally told us. Third row to the right. 
should have known this is where we were headed. I shouldn't have been surprised. But, nah, being lazy is half the fun. Well, what did you need me for anyway? I like you, kid. You got pizzazz. Pizzas? So? So I'm going to help you out. What's the catch? Just a favor. Something harmless. I mean, you're doing infinite shifty eyes, dude. Even without that, your theme music here and your shady looking hat and the fact that you're some sort of alligator monster <laughs> would set me kind of uh, on a suspicious path, but the, the eyes are really selling the whole look for me. Sound good? Not like I have a choice. That's the spirit. No, all those guys in the other room there in the cubicles. Those are the spirits. Check the whiteboard for a password. You'll need it for work. Oh yeah, one more thing. Don't do anything my buddy Whistler here wouldn't like. Oh, I thought Whistler was going to be the, the save book on the counter or something like that. He can get pretty direct, if you know what I mean. Well, his skeleton body's kind of wigging me out hard. Pleasure to meet you. I look forward to working with you. Yeah, he's... He's creepiest. All hell. The heart nose thing is kind of neat, though. I, I mean, I feel like it's because he's a skeleton, you know, but it's it's neat. He's he's not as shifty eyed, but his hat is even springier. It's like jumping twice as high off his head. Uh, see you around, intern. Oh, they both they're both out of here. Great. Well, I'll see you guys later then. I'm going to investigate around the room a little bit before going straight to the whiteboard, although nothing seems to be interactable. There's something weird about the black and white pens next to each other that on these desks it keeps looking like these mini toy scythes or something. Apparently the whiteboard's all I can interact with. The Neweer password. <laughs> okay, Neweer was weird to get my weird to get my mouth around. Jeez, I can't talk anymore after reading this one word. So Neweer password turned into pass weird because it's just Neweer is fucking impossible to say. But that one is love. Cubicle assignment 6A. Maybe that's one of the one of the uh, cubicles that was empty. I should I should like write stuff like this down. I feel like holding it in my mind is might be tough. That also might be a one, not an L. I don't no, in cubicle. There's an L, so I think I'm safe. That was it? That this that's all I needed from the whiteboard there? Now can I interact with things? Hmm, I guess not. There's a familiar book set on a very bright desk. Record the journey so far? I believe I shall. Sets into the page and fades out, same as usual. Progress has been saved. The thrum of ringing phones fills the air. You slowly nod your head to the sound, fighting back sleep. It's kind of funny because now that little lull in the music came back and again with, with the, the phone ringing sound. So it's totally, uh, I don't think it has anything to do with me finding a secret hidden phone or anything like that. It's literally just a clever tie into the fact that it's an office setting. Sleep on the job? <laughs> I, I guess I'm hired. It kind of made it sound like I, I'm getting put to work. But yes, I think I can start my first day with a quick nap. I don't think anyone will mind. Oh, cool. We added a tower corp poster and and now the sock pile is the real world socks plus the tower corp socks that's extra cool weird that the axe isn't on the wall did i lose the axe at the end of that battle or something because i definitely had it same as before no need to get dressed a second time i don't think there's anything else in the room that you can actually interact with I wonder, I wonder if I hit every one of these socks, like if that was ev all of the ones I could have found in the above world. Hopefully, hopefully I can max out these sock collections, then there will be space for like an Animus one, and a Jotunheim one, and then a Chapter 5 one. I'm going to have like this, this row of sock piles here, that's, that's really funny. Cool, well, next time guys, we'll, we'll continue our way through the Tower Corp, but I feel like we're... It, the individual chapters aren't going to be that long, so maybe we're already like halfway through or something. It remains to be seen. Man, our bed's looking a little, a little stainy there. I guess it's from all the water still dripping, dripping past the storm. But it's neat because we still get the, the Tower Corp background of the, the floating, sparkly white and reds and everything like that. So that's all neat. Right, I forgot you can flick on the light in in this version of the room here. So I'm just gonna try and break everything. Why not? 
Nah, can't be done. No, <laughs> no good. Thought I would just be a bit of a jerk and destroy more electrical work. Because why the hell not? Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of this. I'm looking forward to cracking deeply into it and seeing how the different choices I've made so far are going to affect things. Because I think I've kind of made some very significant choices in the last, like, 30 minutes here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you with more Heartbound soon.